I've got it. Uh, I'm just gonna have a cheeky little one. Uh, give you a quick catch up on what we're doing, which there's not really a lot going on, but uh, nevertheless, I'll uh, tell you what we're up to. So, cheers to everybody. So, uh, what have we been doing? Nothing, <laughs> really. I've uh, not got any brews on at all. Uh, I have got plans for some. In fact, my next brew that I'm going to do, and you might remember this from oh, quite a while back. I've had this ages, uh, and I'm going to put it on this weekend. Either more than likely Sunday, I'll be putting this on, and it's the uh, festival Belgian double or double or however you pronounce it. And it's uh, somewhere it tells you 7.2. I don't usually do big beers, but now and again, you've got to try them, haven't you? Uh, so yeah, that's going to go on this weekend, uh, don't know that I'll video any of it, it's basically just putting stuff in a bucket and mixing it up, it's not uh, rocket science, but we'll see, we'll see, uh, we had this barbecue last Saturday and we had around, I think there were uh, we did an head count and we got something like 28 people here. Uh, and we had a really good day. Uh, started at 1 o'clock and I was still sat in here at just gone 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, we had a good session, it was alright. Uh, people loved being able to come in here, pull their own beer. I thought that was quite novel. Uh, I got quite a lot of compliments from my me, uh, me bar, how I'd set it up, uh, which made me feel quite good. Uh, didn't get any footage. Uh, by the time I got round to mentioning it, nobody, nobody would go in front of a camera and to be fair, I would probably, probably had too much to drink to hold the camera steady anyway. So, uh, not that, but we had a good day. Uh, Rob, one of the fellas that came up, he does a little bit of home brewing. Uh, and he fetched me some home brews, which I'll show you. He's fetched me. Two of them, which Nosferatu is labelled, uh, a session ale, and I did have one on Saturday. He fetched me two of these. No, I didn't. What am I saying? He fetched me three, I think, of these. Uh, I have two left. That's it. Uh, I did try one, but to be fair, I was drinking lots of different beers and I will try that again and just have that on its own so I can give him my honest feedback because that's, that's what he wanted, he wanted to know what I thought uh, and from what I remember it was alright, don't get me wrong, but you, when you're drinking lots of other beers and, that, and you're getting a bit uh, merry we'll say, you can't give him your best feedback. And other one he fetched for this, uh, now you'll, you'll not be able to see it because I can only just make it out. It's just wrote on bottle and it's called The Saint. And that's all I know. Uh, when you hold it at light, it's clear. I can see through it. So, 
it's going to be some sort of pale ale or lager or something. So I got two of them. So I have two of these left, two of them left, and then he fetched me. I think it was six Beaver Town, which we never even got round to drinking with. I put them under back at bar and we forgot about them. So I'll have to drink them on my own. Somebody's got to do it. Uh, and then somewhere here it is. I've, I got a. Uh, this is another one from Poland. From. Uh, it's my brother-in-law's girlfriend. I think she said it was from her sister who had sent me it. And she did tell me uh, a few things about it on Saturday night. Can't remember. So I've tried researching on the internet. I can't find anything about it. So I need to wait while I see her and ask her a little bit more about it. Uh, I'll just do a blind review and tell you what I think uh, but that was that so a few, few beers brought for me uh, I believe I have a beer mail on its way over from Ireland but that's as much as I'll say about that until I get it uh, that'll be another one for my map and I just wanted to ask a question about uh, corny kegs. Now I'm set up and I've got a reasonable idea what I'm doing now. Uh, I want to ask if anybody is, well I know you have, but <laughs> dry hopping in a corny keg, is it advisable? Is it worth effort? Uh, because this is just a, a standard Cooper's Mexican Cerveza and it's alright uh, it's not special if, you, if you're into your more flavoursome beers this isn't for you but I just wanted an easy drinker on f f last Saturday which this is and to be fair they loved it uh, but I'm thinking if, if I did this again I'd dry up it. Now, would I be as well dry up in it in a secondary? Uh, or would I be as well just brewing it, brewing it in my keg, uh, and at the same time as I keg it, drop some hops in? And I'd be better, well, I think I'd be better. Would I be better brewing them? in a muslin bag, all sanitised and what have you, and just drop them in, thinking I'm losing leaf rather than pellet. And if they're in a bag, that'll stop anything getting caught in my dip tube. So, is it a good idea? And can you still leave them in? I know hops are a uh, preservative up to a point. So would they be all right in there for a couple of months? Uh, say three month tops? Because sometimes if, if I've got a, a keg on and there's only me drinking it, and I'm more or less only drinking at weekends now, uh, that keg could be there two a month, two and a half months, especially if I have two on go. So would it be all right, say three month or indefinitely? So if anybody can give me any pointers on something like that uh, I'd gladly appreciate it because uh, I'm wanting to learn these things and I think that's it I don't think I've got much more to tell you uh, two more night shifts to do Thursday and Friday and then I've got 19 days off so I'm hoping to get some serious brewing done and a few videos and one thing or another so I think we'll leave it there and we'll catch you next time. Cheers everybody.